是 Florence Tan， 今年七十二岁。我今天要买小白菜，我要美的哦。我是一个轮椅舞蹈团的创办人。有些人说坐轮椅的什么都做不了，我从来不同意。我们的舞蹈团不止单单跳舞，最重要的就是要给他们鼓励。What's your favorite sweet? My name is Claire, and I'm a visually impaired actor, singer, scriptwriter, and I'm learning to be a better director and disability arts advocate. Persons with disabilities are often seen as being inspirational or pitiful, and I'll keep trying to break those stereotypes. Yo 找朋友啦，啊，逛街啦，人们不知道我是一个残缺人士在驾车吧？我驾驶的车哦，就是跟普通人一样的，速度也是一样的，但是我的车是 hand control car， 好像踩油啦、brake 啦这些，我们都是用 hand 来 control 的。我本身是一个很独立、很 active 的人，所以我什么都要去创，去找快乐。这天，陈瑞月来到残疾人士福利协会，赴一场舞者们的约会。哦、oh, ，Hello， 哇，你们刚刚到啊？大家抓紧时间，为即将来临的演出积极排练。跟平常人跳的舞不同，坐在轮椅，利用我的上半身去表演、去跳舞。我的团员主要是轮椅者，当然也有志愿者，甚至我的女佣也有参加过。舞者除了摆动双手和身体，也配合音乐节奏转动轮椅。你看是很简单的，但是是不容易的。手力要强，然后一前一后去转一个圈，转得太快的话就跌倒了。OK， 刚才我们已经 warm up 了哈，好，现在是我们要正式 practice。这个轮椅舞团是陈瑞月九年前一手创立的心血结晶。我从小我一看人家跳舞，我就心动了，就很兴奋了，我的身体就会自然而然的摇的摆动。有一次我在。广场的时候，我看到有一位也是残缺人士坐轮椅跳舞，那时候就已经吸引我了。我就想说，我也可以做得到，然后我就开始想办法去创造这个舞蹈团。本是束缚的轮椅，能以舞蹈形式丰富人生下半场，这是陈瑞月没想到的。不向命运低头的。I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa at the age of four, and this is a degenerative eye condition that consists of lazy eyes, tunnel vision, color deficiency, and night blindness. I would describe my eyesight now as seeing through a kaleidoscope of many different colors and patterns that are quite unclear to me. 二十四岁的张丽玲。是本地艺术慈善组织 Artist 的视障表演艺术家，在舞台上尽情释放自己，仿佛置身另一个空间。艺术让曾在黑暗中彷徨的丽玲找到人生出口。I've always been a very scared person. Since I was little, 
I would I am the one at the back of the class refusing to raise my hand. There was a point in time where I was feeling extremely down. At that time I was bumping into a theater and I was feeling lost. So I wasn't sure how I, I was going to continue until I actually stepped on that stage. I felt the lights on me. I saw that the whole theater was empty and yet the theatre was waiting to be filled. Made me feel like the audiences are there to listen. The audiences want me to do well and they are there for a good show. So they are going to support me every step of the way. Theatre gave me a voice. Theatre gave me courage to speak up. 2019年,李玲成为我国第一位从拉萨尔艺术学院专业表演课程毕业的视障艺术家。他克服自身局限，不断自我超越，除了演出舞台剧，还跨足编剧，全方位拓展艺术生涯。在艺术道路上不懈追求，让他荣获表扬特许人士成就的吴作栋协力奖。Persons with disabilities have always been seen as strong overcomers or inspirational heroes, and on the other side of the spectrum. We are stereotyped as weak victims or pitiful charity cases. It's, the standard is not comparable to the mainstream. Because of this, when I tell people that I want to be an artist, there is an assumption that I'm only as good as charity shows and I don't deserve to be paid. Sometimes I feel very trapped by these labels. I feel like I'm constantly fighting a battle. When words fail, go for gesture, go for truth of touch. Zhang Liling has a chance to meet with different disabilities and artists to exchange. 精进自己的表演技艺。Go, you loud. I push myself very hard, especially in my art, because my art speaks for itself. As much as I can say I am good enough to be on mainstream stage and theatre, they have to see it in order to believe it. So every single art piece is like a progress report. I'm touching you. You're touching me. I'm touching you. You're. 艺术导师苏家亮一路看着丽玲成长。身心障碍者要往艺术发展充满挑战，他都看在眼里。Actually, a lot of things happening in the last one minute. 视障艺术家们，他们因为看不到老师的示范，所以呢，我们就需要通过身体的接触和触碰，还有探索性的一些手势，能够让他们明白老师的示范。从一种观赏艺术来学习艺术的角度来说。他们因为看不到眼前的表演，所以需要口述描述员形容眼前发生的事情，为他们进行更丰富的想象，才能够作为富有想象力的表演者和创作家。Mask and glasses, monster。我们就要把它接纳进去，那它才会是无障碍，而且是无压力的，把它的强处全部都亮出来。通过表演，勇敢表达自我，对丽玲来说，并不是与生俱来的，是加量的教导，挖掘出这一面的她。You can rise up above what people think of you as a disabled person if they give you the access to what you fairly deserve. He asked me, Claire, what makes good theatre? And I said, ease, beauty, form, entirety. And then he asked me to look at nature. The sky will never know when it is going to turn dark. In theatre, it's about stepping into the unknown. It is about not forcing what is unnatural. A strongest desire for a character so that that moment counts on stage. In life, we don't know what is going to happen tomorrow, but we can cherish this present moment because we are never ever going to get it back. And we can also pick up our courage to keep stepping forward. I don't think the fear of losing my sight will ever go away, but 
because of my disability, I've learned to be proud of it and love it. I'm able to create more depth in my work, bring more sensitivity to my art, my constantly evolving eyesight that makes me a better performer and artist. For the 72-year-old Chen Ruiyue, to remain vigorous and vigorous has always been his life attitude. When he was two years old, he had a small disease, and from there, he was able to walk and walk. As he grew up, he was more than ever. He started to walk on the ground for 20 years. An unfortunate disease may be the soul, but Chen Ruiyue did not accept it. At 20 years old, I was already starting to walk on the ground. 我自己买房子，我自己买车，全部都是由我双手造出来。我从来一分钱都没有跟父母拿过。我可以做到的，我自己做，由我的双手去创造我的美丽的人生。虽然行动不便，但独自上巴沙买菜难不倒陈瑞月。很久没看到你嘞，这个可以煮咖喱的，对吗？煮咖喱可以尝了啊。你可以帮我放这边吗？摊主全部都是一看到我来就很客气，很帮助我。当然我很高兴哦，我不会觉得我是没有用的人啊，我是可以的。简单的一餐。带给陈瑞月的是人到老年依然能独立自主的自信。其实坐轮椅也是没办法的啦，哈！以平常的心态对待我们，我们也是可以过的平常的生活。我们只是行动不便而已，我们的脑啦还灵活吗？啊，我们的脖子还是可以用的吗？不要看不起我们哦。一有空。陈瑞月会独自练习轮椅舞，他不时会想起创团以来多么不容易，对大力支持自己的妹妹更是心怀感激。陈瑞月的妹妹是一九七零年代本地著名的黄梅调歌后陈洁。我妹妹多才多艺的，她可以编轮椅的舞蹈。找音乐，他是很忙的人呐、啊，但是他还是乐意的哈、哦，没有酬劳的来帮我，我很感动哦。我们已经差不多 reach 了我们的海了，我们到处都去表演，也曾经为哈利玛雅狗表演过，然后那时候我们很红的。然而，轮椅舞的光芒一度因造化弄人而暗淡下来，因为疫情发生。所以我们停了差不多有三年的时间，三年时间过后，很不幸的，我妹妹就得了严重病，所以就停止。我跟我妹妹的感情是很深的，我们从来没有相骂过，都是互相帮助。我妹妹生病的时候，她她在我家，我照顾她一年，所以。每个每天都是跟他一起担担心，给他药吃，我们都一起吃饭。陈杰最终不敌病魔，在前年逝世。他过世的时候，我就很伤心，我很我很心痛，所以我没有能力可以去接下去，我不可以接受，甚至我连。朋友电话我都不要听。整整一年多，陈瑞月逃离了他曾经最爱的轮椅舞陈瑞月在妹妹离世后，以学习音乐来调节悲伤。时间一点一滴抚慰内心伤痕。
音乐老师陈慧红对轮椅舞停办感到惋惜，不断鼓励陈瑞月复办舞团。第一次我看到的时候，我是觉得很 amazing， 从来没有看过说，哎，轮椅也是可以跳舞。普通人看到轮椅舞，可能他们就觉得，哎，如果他们以后发生什么事的话，而且坐轮椅也是可以像平常人一样做喜欢的东西，不是说坐轮椅就是没有用的。我我是跟他说。就是因为你妹妹不在了，但你更要去积极的再教回你的轮尼舞的舞者，重新再排练，用你的轮尼舞来纪念你的妹妹。在身边人的鼓励下，陈瑞月渐渐走出丧亲之痛，重拾轮尼舞。舞团复办至今已经一年多，佘瑞清是新团员。七年前，一场突发疾病导致他下半身瘫痪。每当跳起轮椅舞，总有万千思绪。自从我坐在轮椅之后，我发现啊，太多局限。当我想拿某些东西的时候，就发现我无法站立。我女儿目前也是一个舞蹈演员。当她在我的面前在练习的时候，我可以看得到她用双脚触碰到地上，翩翩起舞，很响，非常的响，就是以前的那种触碰。但因为脚始终不能着地。患病前，佘瑞清是一名专业舞者。看着从前的舞鞋，内心依然激动。轮椅舞让他再次感受跳舞的喜悦。坐在轮椅去旋转，我觉得是一个放飞自我的感觉。虽然轮椅是一个局限，但是它给我的感觉不仅仅是坐在此地，是能放飞。我很喜欢那个放飞的感觉。如今，佘瑞清更勇敢地面对轮椅上的新生活。好了，可以了。当我还没有认识这些轮友之前，我的确有一段时间会很害怕出去，很害怕去面对大家的闲言闲语。但他们让我知道，我必须要克服我自己的内心。抛开他人的眼光，因为他们能做到，我也能做到。不作茧自缚，让自身局限和他人眼光困住自己。在艺术的路上乘风破浪的莅临，深深鼓舞了梦想成为艺术家的 f i d a u s Claire has impressed me a lot. She has this class where she teach for different type of disabilities. There are people with uh, speech differences, people with autism. I ask her, how do you communicate with them? Claire shared with me, if I can't, uh, I will just sign language with them. But you can't see their sign language, how do you communicate with them? I can touch, I can feel their sign language. And that struck me the most. I feel that I can be like her, or I can do more better than her. To be a better performing artist and to advocate for myself, To even encourage other people with other disabilities, I've been seen as inspirational my whole life. So the expectation is I'm supposed to be strong. I'm supposed to overcome all my challenges all the time. But because of that, I feel so scared to be wrong. When I make mistakes, then I'm so harsh on myself. 自我要求高是无形的压力。每当感到喘不过气，丽玲会透过享受舞台找回初心。Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Miss Latio up on stage, please. I can be free to be strong and weak, because that's what the audiences expect. The audiences expect us to be vulnerable, or anything that can strengthen the character. 
It's not about seeing Claire. It's about seeing another person that they cannot judge. And that's where I feel I can be myself. 经历人事变迁，轮椅舞阔别几年后，终于要重现舞台。陈瑞月心情复杂，但难掩期待。他打从心底感到快乐，也更坚信轮椅舞存在的意义。很久没有在台上表演，很紧张，很兴奋，很开心。我们的这个舞蹈团不止单单跳舞，最重要的是是要给他们鼓励。只要你能够有意志力，你坚强，凡事什么都可以做得到的。我希望人们把我当做普通人来看待，不要轻视我。我可以做到我想要做的。I hope that one day those labels of disabled and mainstream will no longer be necessary. Because access to information and opportunities will become an unspoken norm in society.